So, um, this is your house, right? Uh, it belongs to my dad. So, should I drive you in or are you okay here? Uh, thank you. Not like I'm going to crash myself on the gates, am I? <laughs> I, I don't think so. Let me have your number. Um, I'll call you and check up on you, find out how you're doing. Okay. That's just a... Ah, there you go. <sighs> okay, uh... So, um... I would be on my way uh, to my car now. Oh, well, that's your decision to make. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't tell you the distance is this much. It's okay. It's not like I have something doing with my time. I practically do nothing with my time. Yeah, you should um, get something to eat and um, have some rest. Um, I will call you later. So, what's your name? Michael. Well, you can call me Michael. I am Nicole. Nicole Kiki. All right. Nice, nice meeting you. Yeah. <laughs> so how how are you going to go back to your car now? No, that's not important. I should um, get a cab somewhere. It's alright. I'll sort myself out. Okay. So take it easy. Right. Thank you. Hey, 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 easy. Government people. Yo, um, hey, do you know where the local government office is? Yes, at CPS, Alka. CPS. Okay, drive in front of me, I'll, I'll, I'll follow you. Aunt Mary. My son. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, my I dear. haven't seen you today. I've missed you the same. I missed you more. <laughs> you know oh. my phone is not working out that called you. Oh. Your phone. You know what? I'll get you a brand new one tomorrow. 
about that. You've been saying this for over a week now, Michael. That's me. I've been, I've been working. You know, I've been busy. You know, trying to fix stuff here and there. You know, it's, <laughs> yeah. So, what of Pops? Is he around? Yes. He's in his room. Oh. Huh. What's that look in your eyes? Nothing. I'm okay. And maybe I can see something in your eyes. I'm good. Okay. I'm hungry. Did you cook something for me? Yes. Did you cook something? Let me get something? some clothes from the drying line. Okay. I'll come and make the food. Okay. But please, don't check on your father in his room. Come in. Aunt Mary. Oh, yes. I didn't. You did. It was your father who came with them. But you allowed the father to pass the panel through the stairs into his room. Come here, Aunt Mary. Don't tell me to calm down. There are cold girls in my father's room right now. You know I can't stop your father from doing what he wants. Come on, my He's right. She is right. And no one tells me what to do in my own house. This is my house. And no one tells me what to do and what not to do. Your house. And you decided to bring in call girls that into your house. They're not. They're not. So can you explain to me how you managed to get hot girls into this house, Dad? Hot girls? Yeah, some with some call through. They came. That's it. Those girls are university girls. You know what, Dad? Tomorrow, I'll give you what you want. Yes, but Dad, those girls have to leave this house. You will. <laughs> Son! <laughs> That's great. Now, you do that, and I tell you, I promise you, I'm not going to go for any of them, right? But if you fail, hmm, I'm getting four of them. I could even go for Angelina Jolly. Son, let me get your food. Me too, Mary. See? <laughs> oh yeah, why not? <laughs> it's not going to be the first time a man at my age does it or gets it. This girl is really the best. So. <laughs> Really, an awkward place to hang out. Well, I wanted to show you something you've not seen before. Come on, Michael. This for a first date? Well, <laughs> apart from the crazy Michael that you see, there's a different side to me, and I just wanted you to say it. You know, one looking at a guy like you, you'll never know you are this sort of mm -hmm. I know. How would you know that? Because you said it. <laughs> okay. On a very serious note, what do you do for a living? Would you judge me if I tell you? Well, try me. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? I mean, you drive a fancy car, um, fancy clothes. What do you mean, nothing? I am an arm robber. What? You heard of the Metro Bank robbery, right? Last month. I'm the guy. Seriously, I think I need to leave. Oh, you wait, just I got here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Michael, I can't. Hey, 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 come on. I right, sit up. I'm just joking. Sit, sit. Come on, Michael. I can't associate myself with someone like you. Come on, sit down. Just joking. I'm a stockbroker. Michael, please, can we just go? Hey, Paul. Hey, sweet Philippa. What's up? Oh, for real? Okay, all right. Um, I'll be with you soon. 15, 20 minutes there about. All right. My friend, sweet Philippa. Your girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you want me to go socialize with you and your girlfriend? Sure, that's not going to be a bad idea. I mean, she won't um, be upset. You know. 
Okay, I think you really need to take me home. I think we should go see her and then. Go. See, Gobi. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> so you've been watching me? No. Okay, you have a boyfriend? No, I don't have a boyfriend and I don't want a jack in my life. That's rather harsh, you know. Are you expressing an opinion? Depends on how you put it. So why don't you have a boyfriend? Michael, can we not talk about this? Oh, there's Philippa. Ah, <laughs> uh, Philippa. Are you, are you into the man man stuff? Yeah, something like that. I am. But don't judge me, okay? Just want to see him real quick, then um, I'll go drop you home. Okay. You want to come up? Yeah, come. You want to introduce me to your partner? <laughs> hey, hey, man, Philippa. Hey, yo. How you doing, brother? Angel, Mike. Well, With say... another angel. <laughs> bro, what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm fine. What is wrong with you guys? What? Why did you decide to date each other? What? Um, hold on. You told her we were. Nicole with my best friend, Philip. Philip, Nicole. Michael, were you lying to me? Oh, well, you choose to believe um, what you are told. You shouldn't be allowing your uh, anger boy for uh, nothing. <laughs> it was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Same here. You're beautiful. I'll, I'll meet you. Okay. I'll, I'll just so you. I just saw you. I wasn't jealous. Oh, yeah. A little bit. So, wait, wait, hold on. Where did you see this? She refers to men as jerks. I don't care. Let her call me jerk. Call me anything. I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Where is she? Go back. Yeah. <laughs> My friend. Oh, hi. Um, good afternoon, Mama. Becky. Mama Becky. That's right, because I'm going to be your mommy, boy. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, um, enough of this. I think you guys should start leaving right now, all right? Um, trust me, don't worry. I told her everything. Just take care of yourself. Okay, okay um, we're hopping to the plane. No, but, yeah. Yo, Michael. Go to the car. Okay. Hello, young lady. Hi. Is she your girlfriend? Nope. What? Are you his mother? No. No, she's not. I am. Can we not uh, talk about this? This is my dad's package. I'm going to deliver her to him so we can have some more time together. Your dad's package? I will tell you about it later, okay? place is beautiful. Do I have seen more beautiful places in Asia, America, and Europe? I have been all over the world, you know, Michael. Right. <laughs> uh, please feel that. Auntie Mary. Oh my. <laughs> Michael, where have you been? I have been 
I've been around. I was up and about town with my friend, Nicole. Nicole, meet my auntie, Auntie Mary. Hello, my daughter. <laughs> Hello, Auntie Mary. You're welcome. Is she the house up? Sounds good. <laughs> auntie, uh, Auntie Mary. Meet Mama Becky. Mama Becky, Auntie Mary. Good afternoon, madam. Yeah, madam seems perfectly right for now, my dear. Ah, what is that? Yeah! Daddy said! Hey. <laughs> yeah, son! I am brought to Yeah, yeah son! Yeah! Hey, Dad. Dad, I brought her. Yeah! She's sassy and she's sexy. Hey, come on! Come on, girl, come into the hands of boy judge. I'm dad. Yeah. <laughs> She's not the one. She's over there. Michael, I told you I needed a young girl. Dad, uh, please. Look at her again, she's hot. I mean, she's not hotter than this one here. Why can't I have her? Hey, Dad, please, come on, look at her. Aunt Becky, come, on, come over, please. Um, take a spin around, Dad. Look at her well, look at her legs. And the carbs. <laughs> See those spots before. Oh yeah. <laughs> so you oh, oh um, well, that and that, that. Yeah. Uh, my my friend. Nicole. Yes. Hello, Nicole, my dad. Yeah. Song. Nicole is beautiful. Now, Michael. I hope you are going to keep this one. Good. You know you've broken many hearts already. And you've entered many holes. Now, Michael, let this hole be your last. Nicole, Nicole, Nicole. Um, I think we should get going. You know, um, before my dad comes, mean to your enemy. That's how to say the truth. And Nicole, Nicole we, we should we should get going. Yeah. It, it was nice missing you, sir. Yeah, really nice. And you too, Auntie Mary. All right. <laughs> let me walk That's you to my now. You know, you really remind me of my first girlfriend. Really? Yeah. And you remind me of my last boyfriend, George. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come on, Becky. Come and give me a heart. <laughs> Okay, Auntie Mary, I'll see you again. Sure. Sure, my dear. And um, do look up on him very well, okay? In there, the father was lying. <laughs> okay, but he's just a friend. Michael, <sighs> you and I have to talk. Maybe you come. Yes, Auntie Mary. <laughs> I know it's about. So um I will submit myself to your query when I come back. <laughs> Alright, so see you. And don't worry. He'll be back soon. Okay. Bye bye, Auntie Mary. Alright. Okay.
So, tell me where you want to go and I'll take you there. Haven't we spent enough time for one day? I mean, for a first date. I now know your house. I've met your father. I have met his new wife, Auntie Mary, your friend Philip. And oh, I now know you like different homes. Thanks to your dad. So. You're not going to say anything. What do you want me to say? I mean, it's obvious you just believe anything you hear. Besides, I'm actually surprised that you believe what I said. Well, that's for me to keep. You know, my dad is an adult with misplaced self-consciousness. It's true. Oh, that was a long time ago. So, what do you do now? You go to the date, take them to your fancy mansion, and school. Well, yeah, that's rather insulting. Well, unless I'm wrong. You know what? It's obvious you're not enjoying your time with me. I shouldn't have brought it in the first place. Yeah. I just want you to be clear with me. We are friends. I'm not like I'm even interested in you. <laughs> and, and who said I was interested in you? Have I, have I in any way professed love to you? No, I haven't in any way professed love to you. Come on, Nicole, this is, this is very unfair. Can you just leave me? I'm taking you home and driving. And stop looking at me. I am not looking at you. I'm looking at the road. My eyes are on the road. My hands are on the steering. I'm not looking at you. So, we're here. Yeah, thank you for today. Uh, you know, I must apologize for some of the events that occurred today. Ah, not to worry. You know, I really had fun. It was nice. So, um, I should come pick you up tomorrow. I mean, it's a Saturday. Uh, uh, we'll be showing and we could have a day off together. Tomorrow? I'm sorry. I have to go pick up my parents from the airport. They are flying in. Does that mean you are home alone? Oh, no. I am with sweet tea. Um, who, who is sweetie? <laughs> I see the look on your face. Are you jealous? No, I'm, 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 I'm not jealous. I'm just that. Uh, yeah. Who is sweetie? <laughs> sweetie is uh, a little child in the house. My sweetie. Sibling love. <laughs> <laughs> well, blood is thicker than friendship. I'll call you to know when you get home. Okay. <laughs> I'll be expecting that call. Okay, so this is a private property. Drive off. Okay. But I'll miss you though. Bye. I said I'll miss you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Mary? Mike is not back yet. No, George. Mm -hmm. He must be out there. 
and join that beautiful girl. Is she more beautiful than me, George? No, Lord. At the yard, you are the Helen of Troy, oh, myself. Kings will fight over you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Um, and why this house up dining room with her master and his mistress? Aren't you supposed to be eating in the kitchen? Mary. Mary is family. She is family. Mm. Family. Family by blood or by merit. Woman, you better shut up and have your food, okay? What? Are you talking to me that way? You heard me. How dare you? George? Did you hear her? Becky, Becky, Becky. Come on. Enjoy your food. Be made alone.
that's your welcome in today. Baby, mommy just had a nightmare. Go back to bed, it's, it's not morning yet. Hey, Philip, my man. What's up? So, did you did you have a threesome last night? Yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, chill, chill, chill. So, you mean you shared your girl with another guy at the same time? Yo, look, um, that's a problem. Look, I'm um, I'm a bit worried about um, Nicole. You know, she's not picking my calls no more. You know, ever since Sally picked the phone that night, you know, she's not picking my calls. Look, you know I'm a dog, right? And as a dog, I like my bones in different shapes and sizes, you know. But there's something about this bone that just makes me want to want it. You know? I, 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 I just can't stop thinking about this bone. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, Michael. Hey, Auntie uh, Mary, good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep good? Yes, and you? Well, um, I was... <laughs> Sorry I overheard your conversation. You love that girl, right? You are eavesdropping. I just happened to be here listening. <sighs> well, um, you know you've been advising me to... Uh, Stay focused on one girl and take my eyes off the rest. You know, there's something about this girl. I, I just think I might just want her. Mm. Yeah. 
But you know, the, the bad part of the whole thing is that she's not picking my calls. Yeah. Since Sally, Philip's girlfriend, picked her call last night, she's not picking my calls anymore. So, have you told her you love her? I love her. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not going to do that, you know, it's not, it's not my style. I can't even think of telling her I love her. Besides, she's, um, she sees me as a friend. She's probably not going to ever see me as a boyfriend. She's not willing to be my girlfriend. So what's the point? I mean, I can't go ahead and... Then why would she be jealous when another lady answers your phone? <laughs> Do you want a drink? Come on, Michael, you know I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that, that's the question. I mean, she likes me. So tell me, what will you have this morning? Um, I will have uh, yeah, my eggs. No. No, yeah, my eggs. No, I'm giving you beans and plantain. No, auntie, I I will be fatting throughout the day. I can't. No, that's the menu. Fried plantain and the beans. Okay, it's all right, no problem. Okay. I'll, I'll have whatever you put. Add fish in it. Fish. All right. Add fish. No problem. Tony, how are you? I'm fine, but I missed you so much. <laughs> now, why wouldn't you miss her? It's, it's been four years. You guys look so good. So what have you been up to for the past four years? Well, ask your mother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki, are you alright? Yes, mommy, I'm fine. Or well, don't I look fine to you? <laughs> Who am I to <laughs> query that? I'm fine, mommy. I'm okay. Time of surgery. Your flight is smooth and... Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. back. I'll go back to Nigeria. Into my room like that without talking. Dad, come on, man. What if someone was in my room? You can't do that, Dad. Hey, come on. Hey, son, come on. You're not forgetting that I own this house. This is my property, and I'm not dead, okay? Huh? Yeah, I've written my will, and you're the principal benefactor, yes. But you must have patience, okay? Dad, I, patience! I know all of this. Yes. Okay. How is. Hey! <laughs> Son, go on, go on, go on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit me, hit me, come on! Yeah! How she doing? You know, I did good by bringing Becky. The girl is tight. Right? Becky is the right choice. Hey! The girl is rough. Creative in bed. Son, all night, no sleep, no wink. That girl, she was right to me, right to me, right to me like a black bomba. Hey, hey. Son, you know, you know that famous horse, eh? <laughs> I, I, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm happy for you, okay? Yeah. But I don't want to be known about your sexual escapades. Okay. Plus, you need to be careful about your heart. My just sees. 
Hey, 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 don't advise me, son. Come on. Huh? See, I, I came in to uh, ask you to get me uh, some Viagra. All right, yeah, 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 I, I, I got it done, I got it done, I got it, yeah, come on. Yeah, 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 so, oh, so why is that, uh, I mean that young girl you came off with? Nicole? Yeah, <laughs> she's uh, one of your hidden runs, right? Uh, no, 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 that, yeah. that girl might just be your daughter in the suit. Hey, 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 I'm serious. You're not joking, man. I'm serious, Dad. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I feel I feel connected to this girl. Yeah. Every time I see her, yeah. it's just almost as if I have known her all my life. You know? Yeah, but we quarrel a lot. Even though it's mostly sensible topics, but <laughs> she's calling. Yeah. I'm going. Yeah. Look, please. Remember, when you're coming back, my Viagra. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, Box of CDs. CDs. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes, CDs. I, 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 I didn't do that like in the room. Yeah. Yes, Dad. Fuck uh, that. Yeah. Dad, you need God's strength in this one, so I, I wish you God's strength. Hey, come on. Yeah. It's just a thing. Have you picked a boyfriend? No, no. If I pick a boyfriend, I'll let you guys know. I'll tell you that. The person that called you is a man or a woman? Yes, a young girl. Why did you pick up? Why did you pick up yourself? I'll be in the bedroom. I'll be in the Sure. Um, you must be little T. I am not little. I am Tonya. Okay. Is your sister in? I have no sister. Bye-bye. See you, Tonya. Interesting character she is. So, what are you doing here? What have I done to you? Nothing. What have you done? I can't remember doing anything to you. The last thing I remember was you hanging up on me 19 hours and uh, 25 minutes ago. Well, that doesn't give you the right to call me every damn minute until you run out my battery. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for calling you at short intervals. But maybe you should consider changing your phones. Your battery is be weak. Just me. Michael, now you've seen me, what do you want? Um, can we go in? A big no. A big why? Michael, you don't just show up on people's doorstep, uninvited. 
My parents are intact. Well, that's great. Uh, we, we, can, we can see them. I mean, I would like to see them. No. And if you don't mind, sir, please get into your car. The girl has a friend. I believe I deserve to be treated a bit better than this. Michael, seriously, get into your car and park very well. Lunch is almost ready. Huh. So we, we are going inside, right? No, don't, don't mention I'll just... Um... One second. Have a seat. Yeah. Good evening, Dad. Good evening, Mom. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Welcome, young man. That's it. That's it. Um, Mom. Dad. Michael. Michael, my parents. Nice to meet you, Dad. Uh, nice to meet you, Mom. Uh, look, I have been a young man as well. Mm -hmm. So stop pretending and be yourself. Uh, Actually, sir, I'm not pretending. This is why. They look dumb. Tonya. Um. How uh, how long have you known my daughter? Um. How? Oh, five days now, sir. I see. Yeah. Uh, how many times have you have you been in here? This is actually my first time, yes. Uh, what do you do for a living? Uh, mom, a business stockbroker. Oh, that's nice. No, she's she's lying. Actually. Michael. Who's lying? Um, I'm not sure you're on the point. <coughs> Michael, you told me you were a stockbroker. That's because when I told you I was unemployed, you didn't sit well with you. So. And now I hate you even more. Lying tongue? Ah, young man, uh, maybe my husband will help you get a job, eh? No, I, 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 I already have one. Jesus Christ, are you normal? Nice question to me. Are, are you, are you insane? I, I, I'm sorry, I didn't know this would be two insults. Uh, you know, when someone decides to be honest, uh, they say anything, anytime. Wow, that is awesome. Michael, are you, are you... Have you taken anything? I mean, are you on any kind of medication? No, absolutely not. Uh, what I mean to say is that uh, my dad owns a multinational oil company and I for sure have a master's degree in petroleum management. So I can decide to start working whenever I choose to. And that's why I said I am. Wow, that is awesome. They call your kid sister is very intelligent, you know. She's my mom. What? Shoot. Okay. Well, uh, you and I are here, so I, I wouldn't go. Oh, sorry. Nicole! What is the problem? Don't worry, Mom, I'm fine. Are you okay? Yes, baby. It's okay. Mommy, mommy is alright. Right. I... Are you sure you're not... I, Mom! I am not stupid to make one mistake two times. I'm fine. Tony, are you okay? Yes. Okay. I must say, I, I really enjoyed the meal. <laughs> yeah. um, Nicole, are you better now? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure you don't want to see the doctor? No, Dad. I can, 
I'll try to take you there if you want. Marke, don't worry about it. Ah, she's fine. She's fine. In that case, I should take my leave now. Oh. Thank you very much. I hope to come back for all the <laughs> deal. The pleasure is ours. Okay. Sonia? There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see you. All right. Okay. I'm sorry about the ice cream that you're in there. I understand. Thank you for coming. Thank you for the, the lunch. It was quite interesting. Say it. Say what? Look, I was going to tell you at some point. I believe I asked you who Sweet Tea was. What did you say? She was a little child. You could have just told me she was your daughter. I'm sorry. You see, some things in life are not just easy to... Believe me. I was going to tell you at the right time. I am sorry. You know, people always want to say something at the right time. But they never get to say it until the other person has found out before the right time gets there. Please don't take this the wrong way. Is he gone? He's gone. I suspect your friend was unaware that um, you had a child. I saw the shock on his face. He doesn't know. You're right. Well, um, the thing I want to tell you is, um, is that... Daddy, please, can we just not talk about this? Please. Well, okay. All right. Thank you. George? Yes, Mary? I, I don't know why the television is not coming up. Just get out of that place if you cannot switch on the television. Gosh, you're so local. Becky. Oh. Becky. How many times will I warn you against talking to Mary in that fashion. Mary is family. But she's so primitive. She can't even switch on the TV. Just the TV. Jeez. Michael. Good evening, God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Why are you Why wearing that long face? She has a child. What? What? Yes. A daughter. Who? Nicole. Oh, so sorry about it. What's sorry for? The girl he loves has a child. And it's bad news for a man in love. Having a child is not a sin. Sure it is. When you're not married. Or is she married? Michael, is she married? I don't know. I... I didn't to ask. Oh my God. Michael, my son. <laughs> you look very awful when in love. Anyway, you, you'll get over this, I assure you. Do you need anything? I'll, I'll be in my room. Ah, go ahead. Oh, that's so sad.
Michael. No matter how huge the love I have for any girl, I can never fall for anyone I have a child. Never. I don't even know if she has a husband. So? She doesn't have a husband. Are you ready to be one? Listen, Mike, now I know that you, you, you're stupid. What's going on with you? I'm confused! The mic that I know doesn't have affection. What's going on? Look, Philip, you're beginning to piss me off. It might sound silly, but I'm in love with this girl. And I'm not ready to let her go. You sounded like you have her already. So I ask you, do you have her? I'm asking. I don't know. Yes. Listen, my girl, she has a child. That alone has disqualified her over the bar. And you that I know, you're not even ready to be a stepfather to anyone. Not when you don't even have a child. Well, it, it might sound silly. But I don't know how I got myself into this. How I got myself trapped in this. I can't seem to get out of my mind. It's like she lives in my mind. I don't know how you feel. But she has a child. She get picking. Hi. Can you pull that out? Oh, yes, all right. So why choose to meet me here? <sighs> I think I asked the question. Yeah, um... I, I, um, wanted, I want to apologize for my reaction yesterday. <laughs> and how did you react? When you, when I found out you had a child. You know, I should be the one apologizing. I, I think I walked out on you. I'm sorry. But you think? No, I, I did. <laughs> I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, please let the, the breeze, the garden, you know, blow out your anger if there's any. I totally understand. Can I, can I ask Max. you a question? Uh, no, oh, you, 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 you go first. <laughs> Seriously, uh, ask me anything and I have to answer. Okay, um... <sighs> Um, who is Tonya's father? And um, what's your relationship with him? Are you, are you married, engaged, you know? I am Tonya's father and mother. I, I don't have any wings on, do I? No. <laughs> you see, I got pregnant when I was in second year, high school. As much as I wanted to keep her, my parents wanted me to abort her. But you see, she's the best thing that's happened to me. Yes. Um, so, um, what's, what's your question? 
Do you have any interest in me? No. I don't have any interest in you. I love you. Just ask me anything. Uh, Promise me something. Yeah, anything. Just feel free. Ask me anything, and I'll promise. Can you not fall in love with me? I mean, erase me from your memory. Nicole, Nicole. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> Tell me you don't love me, okay? Just, 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 just say it. Look, it doesn't matter what I say. I mean, just erase me from your memory. Forget about me. Forget I ever existed. Please. Life is too short to fall in love. Life is too short not to fall in love, don't you understand? Michael, you don't understand it. Nicole. Nicole! Is this not Lucy? <gasps> Is this really her? Honey, please, can you get me some more drinks? This is not funny. Come on, son. Are you losing sleep over one girl? One girl? Come on, this is not like my own son, Michael. The Michael I know. Oh, no, time changes. I am in love with Nicole. And um, she's proving how to get here. Yeah? I don't think so. You know what? I get my drink, please. I think it's because she she has a child, and she's scared of another oh, man betraying her. Now listen, son. Listen to me. Listen to daddy. Okay, okay. You see. Sometimes you give love. Now, if that love does not get returned to you, you know what you do? Son, you move on. Move on with your life. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. He's right, you know. Just move on. Good evening, no? Mm. Mary, is she, is she okay? Who cares? Please. Well, I do care. Mm. Honey, all I care about is you. When are we going to the club? What? Come on, baby. We'll have to relive our past years, you know. Let's go to the club and shake some sweat off you. 
Hmm. No. Yeah. That's exciting. It's great. It's great. Can't wait, baby. Come on, stop it, naughty boy. <laughs> You're so naughty. Oh, just reference, huh? Was it really her? Was it her? Aunt Mary. Yes, dear. How are you? I'm good. Yes, I am good. Well, um, you didn't seem very happy when you came in earlier. You seemed like something was bothering you. I just met someone I knew from my past. That's all. So, meeting someone shouldn't be the reason to get you that angry. Was Bessie bad? Yes. And then, um, she's having my child. You have a child? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, 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 no. It can't be true. No, no. No, no, please, please, no, no. It can't be true. Sammy, I'm too young not to see clearly. I saw Mary with my two eyes. I saw her. I saw it I must, saw her. It must be a ghost or somebody who resembles her. No, no, no. no, no she, look, let the dead remain in, in their place, okay? She, she's, look, she died 25 years ago or 26 years ago. Do you remember? Do you also remember that we never saw her body? We never saw her body. No. It's Mary. She is dead. She is dead. Huh? Don't think about her. No. Let the dead remain where they are. Huh? No, 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 no. I saw her. Sammy, look at me. I saw her with my eyes. It's Mary. I beg you, remember that. Let's leave this house for our daughter and go back to where we came from. I beg you. Please. Oh no, I am not leaving this place. I am staying here with my daughter and with my granddaughter and that is it. Period. Sammy, let's avoid this trouble. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Let's No leave way. Here. No way. I am staying here. Alright? It's, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. It's just that. I'm, I'm good. So, Sid, tell me, how is Nico your girlfriend? Ah, Nico. She doesn't love me. What? But she seems to love you when you came here with her. Well, as a friend, yes. But as a boyfriend, she says I can never be her boyfriend. But you know, that's what I don't understand. Because when I look into her eyes, I see love. I'm sorry, dear. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. I know exactly what to do. You do? Yes. <laughs> that's my word. Okay. Then you go now. Make sure you smile. Okay, I will be. Um... <laughs> okay. All right. And make sure you smile. Let you know I love you. Tell me how to win your heart. Cause I do not have a clue. You're all I ever wanted. I 
Why, my heart is open wide. Baby, tell me, tell me, tell me how to win your heart. What the hell are you watching? For heaven's sake, what are you doing? Can't you see you're disturbing the whole neighborhood? I'm asking you. Sorry, sir. But I only have eyes. My love. And ears for my love, sir. Young man, do you understand the implication of what you're doing here right now? I love Nicole. And that's all I know. And all I'm trying to do is to pass the message to you, Nicole. That I love you. Look, my young man, you leave this house right now. Huh? Everybody's going to work now and you come here with, with, with this uh, gadget here and disturb the whole neighborhood. I need to work for my love, sir. That, that, when I come back here, I don't want to see you. That, I will handle this. I will handle this. Let me not see you again when I come back. I have to see you're making a nuisance of yourself. I don't care. Like, all I know is that I love you. I know I might, I might be acting crazy, but all I need is a chance to prove my love for you. I have honest and genuine love for you. Okay. Yeah. Mikey, I told you this is not going to be possible. Come on, Nicole. Give him a chance. He looks like an honest guy to me. Come on, dear. Mom. He can't walk. We can be friends, yes. But there's no way on this planet that's, that we can be lovers. It's not possible, Nico. There is no how that you and I can be friends. All I can be to you is a lover. A husband! I love you, Nico. From the bottom of my heart, it's not like I go crazy to prove my love to you. That you know I love you. What else do you want me to do? To prove... Nico. Nicole, come here. 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 Then why can't she sleep at home? Ah, that's why we are here to take her home, so she will sleep at home. Don't worry, mommy will be fine. Hmm? Mm -hmm. oh, Nikki, how are you? You passed out. Mm -hmm. Yes. How are you? Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, she's awake. Yes. Yes, yes. The doctor said that once she's awake, she should bring her so that we can run the test on her. Ah. That's nice. What test? It's to check whether you have an infection or something to dictate the actual cause of your sickness. I have my own personal doctor. Oh. I don't want to run any tests. Oh, come on. You have to run this test. It could be an infection. It could be something very serious. Uh -huh. Nikki. No, I'm fine. I'm perfectly okay. It's okay. <sighs> Yeah. Ah, nurse, it's okay. Tell the doctor I'll come and see him. Eh? All right. Nick. Excuse me. Okay, then. It's okay. We're going on now. Eh? Um, gentlemen. Yes, sir. I think uh, this is the last time you'll be seeing my daughter. Why? Because she doesn't like you. And I think you should learn to live with that. I don't want my daughter's life to be complicated because of your fleshly desires. I don't want to show you the other side of me because it is very, very bad. Hmm? Wonder you understand, sir. Tony, I go and play the room. Easy. Now, young lady. 
What exactly is wrong with you? I hit my head against the door while I was going downstairs to watch him. I guess that caused the bleeding and everything. I'll be right here. No, 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 you're going nowhere. Sit down. You are going nowhere until you tell us exactly what is wrong with you. You've been so secretive in your entire life. And that was why you were able to get pregnant at an early age. Now you're covering up again. You have to open up. This has a lot to do with your health. Open up and tell us what is wrong with you. You have to remind me. I gave that to Tony and I don't regret it. I am fine. My dear, what is wrong? It's Nicole. She's sick. What is wrong with her? I went to say we need her in the house. Next thing she starts bleeding from her nose and she passes out. What? So, how is she? She's fine. She's... She's fine now. But what I don't understand is, it seems like she never wants to see me in her life again. Come on, Michael. Maybe you need to give her some time. Let her think through everything and then she might come back to you. Are you sure? Yes. I'm sure it might work. Aunt Mary. Yes, dear. I have a minute to ask you. Please do. How come you never got married? Are you okay? I'm, I'm okay. I'll, I will be at the living room downstairs. In case if you need anything, just let me know. Okay? You're trying to trick a girl who doesn't love you. Which Jeez. part of the keep quiet don't you understand? The one from the classroom. Hello? Excuse me. Hello? Hello? Yes, is this Nicole? Yes. Please, who am I speaking to? Oh, this is Mary, Michael's auntie. How are you, my dear? Oh, I'm fine. Um, how are you too? I'm good, my dear. Please, can you do me a favor? What kind of favor? Michael has locked himself up in the room and threatened to hang himself if I don't call you to come see him. Just that. My dear, this is a serious matter. He says you don't love him. And he wants to commit suicide. Well, ask him to greet my grandmother when he gets to the land of the dead. Auntie, please, I have something very important to do. Bye. <laughs> Hello? 
हेलो 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 यू डू नॉट साउंड इज यू सो माइकल प्लीज डोंट टेल मी हेलो डार्लिंग या शाओ वी शू बेबी Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um Michael, please find another strategy to win her heart, huh? Bye. <laughs> go baby. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, wait. I I think I have an idea. What again? Interesting. For what? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Auntie, I have come out. Michael, I can't believe you want me to do this. Auntie, please, it's my future sake. Huh? Please, let's do this for me. Um, that's the house over there. When you go this way, you take your right. There's a gate there. Just knock on the gate. Somebody will open the gate for you. Huh? Is there a dog in the house? There is no dog. Auntie, when you're done, just um, signal me. I'll be watching you from here. I'll come and pick you. Okay. Please. But this will be the last attempt. In case if it doesn't work, Michael, please leave her. Auntie, I cannot leave her. I cannot leave her for anything in the world. I will not disturb you again. Please go and waste some time now, please. All right. Let me smile. Let me smile. <laughs> Don't worry. Thanks for the water. You're welcome. You know, I keep wondering why Michael bothers you like this. Anyway, so what brings you here and how did you find this place? Well, Michael directed me here. Mm. Michael directed you here or he brought you here? No. Hmm. Well, actually, yes. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> listen, it's for a good cause. Believe me. A good cause being? Being you, my dear. Mm. Michael has not been feeling fine because of the way you've been treating him. So, how have I been treating him? Nicole, my dear. I have never seen my boy in love like this before. Why don't you give Michael a chance? Please? Auntie Mary, you see, Michael is a very nice guy, very handsome, and all that. But you see, I have told him it's not possible. You know, I don't want to complicate his life. What do you mean? I don't understand. <laughs> Until you will not. Until you will not. Yeah, I could. Holy heavens! Come on. This can't be. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Auntie Mary. Oh. Auntie Mary, hold on. Auntie Mary. Auntie Mary. Water, we were discussing, and she just freaked out. Are you okay? My she, God. Just, just take her out. My God, this I'll call you. Oh, this car, my God. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my God, please take me out. Drive right fast. My car is dead. Drive right fast. Oh, 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 drive. Right. Oh. oh. 
Who would have Auntie Mary seen that scared her so much? Auntie Mary, please, what happened over there? Can we not talk about it? Auntie Mary, I asked to go and talk to Nico for my sake. You come from that house frightened, like you saw a ghost or something. I saw more than a ghost. Did you see? Auntie Mary, what did you see now? What did you see, Auntie Mary? Talk to me! Michael, stop! You hear? Nicole. Michael, are you home yet? Oh yes, I just got home now. So, is she okay? No, she's acting frightened. I don't know what is, but whatever it was from, was from your house. <sighs> Nicole, Nicole, please, what did she see? You see, I told you before, she came in, I offered her a seat, gave her water, we were talking, and then she just freaked out and started running. So I have, I have never seen her like this before in my life. Have you tried to ask her why? I, I did, but she, she, she has said nothing. All she's been doing is crying. Look, Nico, can I, can I ask for a little favor? What favor? Can you come over and then maybe you can talk to my auntie and see if she can tell you what she saw? Um, Michael, I don't think so. Come on, Nicole, please, I'm begging you, please. Michael, look, we, we really need to meet and talk. It's important. Okay, um, um, where, what time? This evening. I'll, 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 I'll come through then. Let me quickly see my auntie and know what's happening behind our people posted. Okay. <laughs> that is a problem. Oh, my God. I feel like doing something crazy. Hi. Where is she? I don't know. I think she should be in her room. All right. Go and see her right away. I thought we were supposed to go out, George. Family first, Becky. I don't just understand why you're giving this asset so much attention. Oh. 
Mary, Mary, open this door. Aunt Mary, open this door and talk to me. Aunt Mary, whatever it is will help you. Please open the door. Mary, Aunt Mary, do not let me break this door down now. Hello, George. Mary? Yes. Are you alright? Do I not look okay? Yes, yes. Michael! What nonsense is this? Not me, I don't understand. How come the switching emotions so quickly? Nothing, my dear. I was at your friend's house and I suddenly remembered something which made me sad. So I had to leave. Is it in any way connected to her? Aunt Mary, is it in any way connected to her? No. I will be going to the market soon. You need to rest. I love your color. I think it's the flower. <laughs> <laughs> I like your smile too. You know, it's the only time I get to see angels, right? Come on. Make me smile. <laughs> Here, it's for you. Oh, uh, they're so nice. I love them. Thank you. So it's uh. An actual date. Night. <laughs> How's she feeling? Um, she's fine. She said she saw something in your house that reminded her of her past. So she had to leave. Failing you, I guess. <laughs> well, I'm still here, right? I... I don't know why you are denying me an opportunity of a lifetime. You know I love you, right? That's precisely why I'm here. You see, Michael, you're a very nice, fine-looking young man. And I, I love to spend time with you. I love, I love it very much. I remember the first time I hit your car. Instead of you being mad at me and all, you remained calm. You even brought me home. So if, if I'm ever going to love anyone, ever, or be with anyone, it would be you. That makes me a very lucky man. <laughs> Let me finish. I can't start to deny my feelings for you. I mean, it's obvious. It shows in my eyes. Even though I want to be stubborn at the time, try to hide my feelings for you. But you see, I can, I can never love you. But you see, we, we can still be friends. I can still be friends with you. Please, look for someone else. Treat her right. Marry her. Sorry. Sorry. 
Look fine. Hey. I'm not letting you go. I'm not letting you go until you tell me why you are crying. Huh? I can't. I can't. I'm not letting you go. Even if you want to call the damn police, call them. Until I am convinced that you do not want to be with me. You understand? I know. I know, but... Do but what? But what? <laughs> My heart is going to cease functioning in a week. <laughs> My heart is shutting down. That's why I fainted up the last time. My heart is so weak to pump blood to my brain. <laughs> That's why you say, even though Tony I was a mistake, <laughs> This is the best thing that's happened to me. No one knows this, aside from my doctor. Please promise me you won't tell my friends about this. Wait. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change anything. I still love you. I know. I know. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's nothing to be sorry about. <laughs> let me marry you. No. No, please just I, let I this. To, I want to spend <laughs> your last days with you. I, I don't mind being the father to Tony. Please. Let me marry you. I love you. Please. No. Just let me stay this way. There's so many other people out there, please. There is no other person out there but you. There is no other person that matters to me in this world but you. Please let me marry you and let us make this work. Even if I spend few days with you, I do not care. All I want is to have you in my life. Please, don't ruin your life for me. My life, my life would be ruined. <laughs> Hey. Ah, I need to get it. I'm getting married. Oh, shh. So. Nicole. Yeah. The love of my life. It's going to be a private wedding. And you are all invited. Just family members. Brethren, is there any reason why this union cannot take place? Okay, shall we proceed? Uh, Mr. Michael Obi, you take Miss Nicole Okeke as your lawful wedded wife. Yes, yes, yes. And Miss. Yeah, yeah. And Miss Nicole Okeke, you take Mr. Michael Obi as your lawful wedded husband. Yeah, yeah. Can I have the rings? Yeah, yeah. Wow. 
Then what's all this? They have questions to answer. Then a price to pay. You thought I'm dead, right? I'm alive. George, they took away my baby. <coughs> she is my daughter. Oh. Now two of you start talking before I kill her like you killed my husband 25 years ago who was your driver. Please, please. We used to live with them. My husband and I. They killed my husband. Took away my baby. They hired men to assassinate me. The men were compassionate. They spared my life. I ran from the bush that night. And fortunately for me, I ran into George, who took me in and made me part of his family ever since then. So for trying to kill me, sorry. for killing my husband, for stealing my baby away from me, they deserve to die. So, no. Samuel! Lucy! No. Is it true? <laughs> yeah, yes, it's true. Yes, 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 yes. yes. It, was, it was in your desperation to try that. <laughs> Mary, let me have the knife. Please. Give me the knife. Please, please. Give me the knife. Please. Mary, give me the Mary, knife. Please. please. Give me the knife. Mom. They will pay for their crime. Samuel, you oh. will pay for your crime. The police will hear this. I am calling the Inspector General of Police. You gotta, let me start with the Commissioner of Police. So, Criminal people. She's on life support, and in four hours from now, her heart will cease. Unless we operate on her and replace her non-functional heart with a functional one. You know nobody uh, donates this heart and leave. Take mine. Take mine and let my wife leave. Look at the man here, okay? You can take my life. Take my heart and give it to my wife. Please. Young man, get out of here. This minute and don't ever come back. I am a doctor. And I know one day this will happen. In four hours, she will be dead than history. Just go, you have a brighter future. Just go. Look, she told me that you don't have it! She's a black flower. You name my wife Black Flower. One that would put her with time. One that would not run. 
eyes with the sunlight. Doctor, I promise you, in the last time I'll be back with my wife's heart. Sorry, boy, this is beyond love. Four hours, the black flower receives. Look, Mike, refusing to eat or take your drugs won't do you any good. Forget the past and live positively for the future. She's no more. And I can help you by taking her place. You can take her place. Yeah. You can take her place, eh? So get her! You, why you fool? Let her up! Die! You need to find this fool. This company! Ever after! Tell me I'm dreaming. Uh, no, my love. You're not dreaming. I'm alive. You died. Love. On our wedding day, you died. And ever since then, I have cried and prayed that the end sweeps me off the ground. What, what is your ghost wanted me? I'm not a ghost. I'm an even miracle. Mother, if you donate your heart, you will cease to live. Doctor, what will I be living for if my daughter dies? You are wasting a lot of time. Take my heart. Take my heart. Save my daughter, please. Okay, let me get the nurse to prepare the theater. Madam, let's go. Grab this now. <laughs> Mr. Michael, that was how God had to save your wife's life. She's not yet strong, but I allowed her to come see you so you won't take your life. We actually hid it from everybody until she's strong, according to her mother's last wish. I'm no longer the black flower that will wither and die. I am now the morning sun. I will shine all through the days of our lives. You are alive. Yes. Yes. I'm alive. 